Shocking twist in Married at First Sight you know? Season 17. How do you feel Is Lauren the mastermind behind so Marriage so Meltdown with Orion? It's not like Gaslighting, bad jokes, and oversharing exposed. Brace yourselves as the truth unravels about the doomed love story. Can this couple survive the ultimate relationship test? There is blame on both sides, it looks like Lauren is mainly in the wrong. Lauren and Orion started out their marriage with a lot of potential. They were both attracted to each other and were excited to learn about one another's cultures. There were some initial red flags from Orion after he failed to include Lauren's feelings in his future plans when describing his ideal life to Lauren's dad. However, Orion backtracked and seemed to be fitting Lauren into his newly married life after that. Married at First Sight Season 17 viewers have been watching Lauren and Orion on their honeymoon in Mexico with the three other couples taking part in the experiment. The trip has been going worse for them than anybody. Lauren made an insensitive cultural joke toward her Native American husband that has caused ongoing turmoil. Lauren and Orion also had tension over Lauren, revealing she had sex with someone two months before getting married, while it had been a year and a half for Orion. It seemed like they were trying to be resolution-based in the issues they've encountered, but Lauren continues to incite negative situations. Lauren gaslit Orion after wayward sex discussion. Lauren and Orion's sex conversation started well, and the two seemed excited to engage in intimacy in the future. However, when Lauren said she had sex with someone two months ago, it made Orion very uncomfortable. So much so that he told Lauren sex was off the table for him. Lauren was mad that Orion had been turned off and continued the discussion in their hotel room. Lauren was relentless about getting Orion to be comfortable with her recent sexual history. It appeared that Lauren gaslit Orion into saying he didn't have a problem with it to make herself feel better. It seemed like Lauren was trying to coercively control the narrative even though it was her careless admission and bringing up the topic that made Orion feel hurt. Lauren didn't let Orion feel upset by the situation. She sewed self-doubt into Orion's head to make him present as okay even though he was bothered. Whether she did that to preserve her dignity or to steer their new dynamic away from more drama is unknown, but it looked like Orion was gaslit. Lauren escalates tension in each of the contentious and unfortunate situations Lauren and Orion have encountered, Lauren escalated the issues. Instead of backing down, recognizing her husband was upset, giving him space, and making a sincere apology for the joke she made, Lauren dug her heels in. Orion told her her approach was minimizing the offense, and she kept pushing Orion to explain himself further when the subject was obviously sore and he was hurt. In the wayward sex talk, via ET, Lauren kept poking Orion to state his feelings. She reiterated the hurtful message that she had recently slept with someone when she should have respected Orion's uncomfortability. In both situations, Lauren beat a dead horse by escalating and repeating the most difficult points of each circumstance. Lauren said she wanted a divorce Lauren and Orion had a third, more massive implosion that was not caught on camera. Orion let Lauren know he was still offended by her racial remark, and Lauren blew up at Orion and told him she wanted a divorce. The next morning, before having to depart back to Denver, Lauren and Orion had a talk with Pastor Cal, where Orion admitted he couldn't get over the joke and that it was only making him feel worse with time. It seemed like Orion was fed up not only with the insensitive remark Lauren made but also with the ongoing way in which she handles problems. Lauren saying she wanted a divorce is something she is going to have a hard time coming back from. Orion was clearly cut deep by the dialogue, and that escalation is indicative of Lauren's continued bad behavior and outbursts. Lauren admitted to fellow married at First Sight Season 17 castmate Claire Curd that she asked for a divorce but said she regretted it. Lauren can't take back her words from each scenario, and the damage is done. She's shown her true colors and that she has an abrasive nature that is mostly to blame for how bad things have gotten with Orion. Can Lauren and Orion recover from their bad honeymoon? 
Orion had a hand in the drama between him and Lauren, but things would never have gotten so bad between them if it weren't for Lauren's behavior and actions. Lauren and Orion have a lot of healing they need to do from the things that were said and the ugly situations that transpired during the honeymoon. The duo started with a solid foundation from their wedding, the day after, and the first day or two of the honeymoon, so they know what a positive relationship looks like between them. They initially bonded on shared outlooks, intent to empower each other's cultures, and ability to have fun. If the pair can work closely with the experts and remain open to the experience, they still have a shot at a successful marriage. Lauren said at one point she was glad that they were going through the hard stuff now, so less drama could happen later. However, that was before she asked for a divorce. During the next episode, Lauren and Orion will start the next chapter of the Married at First Sight journey and enter back into their real lives while living in a neutral apartment. They were matched for reasons having to do with their deep compatibility, and if they can look more toward the positives, they may have a chance. Hopefully, Lauren can change some of her inflammatory behavior, and Orion can find it in his heart to forgive. If they don't de-escalate and unpack the damage done on the honeymoon, they don't stand a chance of remaining together. At this rate, the contentious married at first sight season 17 couple won't even make it to decision day. However, it is still early on in the season, and there is room for each to grow personally and as a couple. Today's next news. Married at first sight star bleeding to save money on sanitary products a former has revealed she sometimes free bleeds during her period to save money on sanitary products. Last year makeup artist Domenica Calarco joined the ninth season of the Australian reality dating series, where she was matched with financial planner Jack Miller. While they split up after cameras stopped rolling, she has since carved out career as an influencer, which includes a podcast with former co-star Ella Ding, as well as an appearance on I'm a Celebrate Get Me Out of Here. Since being on reality TV, Domenica hasn't shied away from sharing intimate details about various aspects of her personal life, with the latest episode of her podcast Sit With Us No Different. During it, Domenica was discussing the soaring cost of sanitary products during the cost of living crisis, and shared she sometimes decided to forego them altogether. You could be paying 10 bucks for pads, she said when chatting about using organic sanitary products and how they were less cost-effective than regular tampons and pads. Look, I would like organic cotton in my vagina. But I can't justify spending $10, five pounds for seven pads she added sometimes i'm like i'm just gonna free bleed in my undies and i'll f asterisk asterisk king wash it in australian supermarkets organic pads can cost about five dollars to six dollars with eight to twelve pads per pack some organic maternity pads cost up to ten dollars for a pack of twelve Taking to social media, she shared a photo of a bag of chocolate-covered prunes, which she labeled, the period snack that has changed my life. Prunes for the constipation and chocolate because I need it during, she added. Back during her time on MAFS, Domenica was praised for approaching the conversation of period with her partner on camera. Soon after moving in with Jack, Domenica asked her husband how he felt about getting intimate while she was menstruating to which he explained it had previously been a no-go zone in past relationships. For me, I've always just been very open like that and spoke about, not only my sexuality and all that kind of stuff, but for me having a period and having a menstrual cycle is just normal. Every female goes through it, she added when speaking to Nine Honey. And I think there is still such a stigma attached to when females have their period and how they're meant to feel. Are they meant to feel sexy? Are we even out of that? Can we have sex? How do men feel? She added that the experiment had been a, a safe space to talk about everything and anything, so she wanted to approach the conversation with her new partner as she found it fascinating. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.